S from in Flammen. Right now I'm in Hamburg and I'm sitting here with Finna and with Mino Riot. The last days we recorded a song together and also we um, recorded a video and then we played on a demonstration against uh, capitalism. And right now I have the time and the possibility and I'm really thankful uh, that we can do this little interview podcast for in Flammen. Welcome Finna, welcome Mino Riot. Hi. And at first, um, I don't know uh, who knows you or not, but maybe you can describe yourself. Who are you? What are you doing as an artist, as an activist? Who are you? Maybe you want to start, Finna? And yes, I have the microphone in my hand. I'm the MC. <laughs> no, okay. Um, hi, I'm Finna. Um, um, rapper, singer, networker, um, activist. <laughs> And a potpourri of funny things. I like to connect people. Um, I like to um, make people think about what they are doing and how they are doing things, how they are thinking about music, how they are thinking about politics, and how they are thinking about um, living in this caged society and system. Yeah, and I want to break the borders <laughs> in everything what I do. Yeah, that's me. I'm Finna. Yeah, hi. Hi, welcome. My name is Mino Riot. I live in Saarbrücken in Germany. I'm a female rapper. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, that's it for the first. Absolutely okay. It's really lovely to have you here both. And it's really, really crazy because uh, I'm from Leipzig, from the east of Germany. Now we are in the north of Germany, in Hamburg. I think everybody knows Hamburg. In my living room. <laughs> yeah, in <Finna's> living room. <laughs> but uh, Mino Wright started from the southwest, from Germany, uh, all the way. And we're here together. It's really, really great. Um, yeah, so uh, Mino Wright, you said you're, you're a female rapper, but uh, do you also do some political stuff? Are you an activist? I think my activism is in my music, too because I make queer feminist hip-hop and um, I try my best to start a little network and um, safe space for queer people and um, for yeah, feminist, soft, sensitive people in Saarbrücken because there's no space for us. <laughs> yeah, and I'm very happy to be here with other cool people and uh, sensitive people um, to grow together and to learn some cool stuff. You are so great. <laughs> I'm a big fan. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's really, really great. And uh, I like to hear that you make some more uh, safe space in the little town Saarbrücken. For us as a network, it's really interesting how people come together and which is the, not only the biography, but um, the history or the first story. When do you start and how do you start as a singer, rapper, as a queer feminist uh, rapper? When do you uh, start to do your stuff like you do it right now? You are musicians, but you are also activists and also political musicians. Um, but how you start? Is there um, a catalyst event, uh, some part that you think, okay, now I want to do it like that, and, and now I want to bring people together and uh, show them how to speak about things um, all for you? Okay, now I have to make more safe spaces right here in Saarbrücken. Um, how did it start? I was always singing no, since I was 14. And um, before everyone said that I can't singing, but I tried it and it was good. Uh, but I had, had always social <laughs> pressure because <laughs> um, everyone wants to be the best singer. And I don't like that. Um, so when I was 17, um, a good friend showed me um, Suki and Tick Tick Boom, and for me it was mind blowing because <laughs> I never heard something. I was vegan and I was a little uh, revolution girl, right girl, but I didn't know it. And um, yeah, it was perfect for me to start with queer feminism and activism. So I started to rap with rap. I had an internship in Berlin. Um, when I was 18 or 17, and I was um, by a lot of workshops, um, 
with RevPod, with Jay, and then she won. <laughs> I go to every workshop, and I was on a concert from uh, Finna, and it was so great for me. So I started to make hip hop, and now I sit here. Was that the uh, female focus in the Cassipaya? Oh. Your concert? Yeah. What? No, it was uh, Fittenbude. And oh, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Open. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I just talk a little bit about my biography <laughs> with music. Yeah, uh, I, I started uh, to sing uh, when I was in the kindergarten and then I was in the uh, church choir and then I was at the scouts <laughs> uh, and then I was, I, I searched every minute I could sing, I, I, take, I took it. It was the only possibility to express myself uh, and to not get on someone other's nerves. <laughs> yeah, because there I could be loud, there I could be um, crazy, I could be uh, high or low or something, but um, but I could express myself and, and nobody was, oh God, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> and I was like, okay, then, then I took every chance because um, in my life, I was never hurt. My, my family was, yeah, I was never hurt. Nobody wants to hear me. What I want to say, I was ve very, very quiet girl, never said anything, but in my heart was a rebel heart <laughs> and it wants to be outside. But the only thing where I can do it was with singing. So I sang as loud as I can on the bicycle when I was uh, from school to home. Uh, I drive my bicycle but between the fields, nobody could hear me, that was the perfect spot to sing. Or I have to uh, clean the, the, the rooms and the, the flat of my, of my parents, nobody could hear me, I was alone, so I could sing. Or I was, I was very, very um, angry, I could sing. <laughs> and that was my, my, my choice to express myself, but lonely. Yeah. And nobody could hear it, but, but there were some uh, music teachers in my school, mm -hmm. and 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 they say said, "Oh my God, you you have a really big talent. You, why aren't you heard from from many more people?" And I was like, "Oh God, I I, I don't know. Um, yeah, nobody wants to hear me. <laughs> I think I know. I think nobody wants to hear me." And then was the uh, children musical, and I played my first role when I was nine i think and the musical was called like uh cats in the night or something uh, was uh, it like cats from uh, no 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 it was a it was a um diy self-made written uh, musical in Ooh. school and and i i had my first solo song that i have ever sang my costume was a uh, uh, so good <laughs> that I, I, I looked like a cat <laughs> and nobody could see me, <laughs> that it's me. <laughs> so I could feel free in this costume because nobody could see, oh, this is, this is the small girl we know uh, that, nev that is totally quiet. I know I have this costume and nobody recognized that, that it's me. And, um, and I know that my parents were there because they have to, because my music teacher was calling them and said, okay, your daughter has a solo, uh, please come to this musical. This is so great. And, and, and my parents said, yeah, okay, yeah. And they, they were going. And then after the break, no, they, they said to me, oh, there was one cat and that sang my way from Frank Sinatra in German. And that was so impressive, but where were you? And I was like, oh, mom. <laughs> yeah, but where were you? And I was, I was too shy to tell them that it was me. <laughs> I, I Do they know it now? Yeah, now, but this is after, <laughs> really. Yeah, I, I, I could never tell them that that, that that was me because I was too shy. And, and my parents always said, be quiet, do your things, uh, clean the room, clean your room, clean our room and make the dishes and make us uh, yeah go to the kiosk and 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 uh, take us some some cigarettes and, and beer and wine and yeah what they want to I, I had to do all the things and and there was no space so I was like okay I have to be quiet I have to do my shit because when when I'm not doing this shit uh, there will be violence in my home and this is not what I want to 
but you take your space right now you, you, you no, you're, you're taking it you're, you're taking yeah. it on, on stage yeah. and uh, also you do it as a child in the cat costume yes <laughs> but um so this was one moment what it's changed for you something that you may uh, that you recognize okay for me the stage is something i can really feel myself i can empower i can be but hidden yeah hidden hidden I, I had to i had to have a really big costume to do these things and i did them and i made it but but um yeah and then i broke up with school i had i was r really lazy but not really lazy it was always a there were there were two ways are going were going at the same time i was a punker girl drank too much alcohol and drugs and was under the bridge and and totally in a I uh, set uh, totally wasted and there was an other girl I played many roles I think and at the same time I was uh, nominated for a prize the major of the city uh, wants to give me a prize for my social work <laughs> that was at the same time I was a punker girl but then I was in the in the in the newspaper for for social uh, totally courage and everything that was at the same time and I broke up with school had uh, the best grades uh, always a six and everything <laughs> um, but uh, yeah I was not interested in school <laughs> yeah okay um, was there a other moment um, but, but right now we hear many moments that you uh, would you also perform in your songs we can hear we can feel it yeah. um, is there one moment or one uh, situation that you think okay right now this is uh, this was the moment that everybody changed just that I know okay yes. like the cat moment I, I recognize him yeah. you you get to know how to come on stage and show something maybe hidden but you can show your voice yeah. uh, was there other moment and you can say okay this is why I do this activist or uh, singer song or song whatever this uh, music stuff um, political yeah, oh yeah. What, what why, why it changed my emancipation <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah the moment of my emancipation maybe was um, to uh, met uh, Raza um, and that was my first connection, I think, to hip hop. The first connection I really liked with hip hop. <laughs> yeah, and and she showed me, she she said to me, oh, oh there is tick tick boom, and um, and maybe hip hop is not uh, not the thing you you see it because at first, in the situation I was in a band in a funk rock band and I was a singer, um, and oh, with males, <laughs> and it was the only girl, and 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 she showed me that there is so much more to um to see uh, so much more uh, to look at <laughs> and i was like oh, yeah oh yeah that could be both I, I could be music and politics at the same time this is so great yeah i, I don't have to do my my rock thing oh, no i don't have to shout at the people that they hear me i i can also talk to the people in hip-hop and tell just my story <laughs> and this is enough and i was like i was so impressed because i was on the concert from kobe to at the hafenklang and um and I was like, oh yes, oh this is the music I like to hear, and this is the vibe I like to hear, and I like the message, I like the sound, I like the connection, and I wanted to, yeah, that was the spot where something changed in my mind. And after the concert, I got, uh, I, I went to Kobito and said to him, oh, I want to do the same thing you are doing. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> How can I do this? <laughs> and he was like, I oh, yeah, just try. And I was like, okay, okay. Yeah, and, and then sent me some flyers and I will look over it. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. And then after three days or th something, I, I, I wrote some songs and sent it to him um, as, as an email. <laughs> and he, he heard it and gave me feedback. And that was really, really, really helpful. And uh, Zuki also, um, one week later, I think, I was at a workshop from Rock City. And, uh, and I met uh, Zuki because she made that uh, presentation. And, and, uh, and then I asked her too for feedback. And she gave me feedback, and everybody gave me feedback, and it's really important to um, get to grow, to grow the idea like a flower from yourself, <laughs> and this, that was really helpful. But now I'm at a point where I think, okay, um, hip hop and rap is not enough for me. I want to sing too. I want to share that. That singing is also a part of me. Yeah. So now you're changing not only rap, now it's more uh, space for singing also. Get it right? Yeah. Okay. As, and my first song was uh, "Music Is Politics." Uh, because um, I was like, okay, when I really make, when I really, uh, when I'm really doing music in a professional way, then I really want that it's political. 
this is really important for me that that it starts like this 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 has to be the first message i sent to the world that music has something to say and and could change minds this is so important and i want them to hear that i want to it was a sign to my parents to my family to all the people that ever said to me music is just music and could do nothing and i was like no music could be so much more something you can feel and then you can connect with with the thinking of another person and this is really cool so i really like the connection of of music and what it makes with you emotional and so you can make politics emotional and say emotional politic things and every every song and every music is political and and that has to be the first message because uh, every love song is also political every song is everything is politics yeah i uh, really like uh, i think now uh, we will hear uh, music is political political music is political that's the right spelling music is politik in german music is politik yeah. <laughs> from finna and after that then maybe we can talk some more about uh, the movements you started both but uh, that i have many questions because there's uh, many stuff and i know you're three days right now but uh, it's really interesting right talking for others with you and uh, yeah my brain is really growing but now listen to music is music is politik Scheißegal, dann finde mich als Scheiße Ich bin nicht normal, danke, das weiß ich Ja, ich schminke mich, mach mich schick Blieben mit Glitzerketten nicht Mach das nicht für dich, bin ich zu dick Ich hab nichts mehr zu verstecken Keine Lust zu verrecken, ohne zu entdecken Welche Möglichkeiten noch in uns allen stecken Wenn wir uns verbünden und den Mut haben zu handeln Können wir unsere Wut auch in Liebe verwandeln Leistungsdruck, Magerwand, nehm ich Konkurrenz Können wir uns sparen, weil das alles nur begrenzt Hab meine Grenze gezogen, bin auf die geflogen, hab mich selbst verbogen und gelogen, meine Wogen sind noch immer nicht glatt, sei nur von unten nach oben, bin ans Haus ausgezogen, um mich auszutoben, such nach Loben, von dem Groben wurde ich nie richtig satt. Doch Musik ist voll, ich liege, danke, dass ich Rap gibt, denn zu guter Musik nickt mein Kopf schon im Beat, nickt der Kopf schon im Beat, nickt der Kopf schon im Beat, denn zu guter Musik nickt der Kopf schon im Beat. Im Takt, wenn euch das Leben packt, ist nicht alles abgepackt, wenn man gute Freunde hat. Wer sagt eigentlich, dass das nur so gehört? Und wer sagt eigentlich, das ist total gestört? Das ist mächtig, das ist richtig, das ist wichtig, das ist kleinig, das ist männlich, das ist weiblich und das ist nur augenscheinlich, das ist reich, das ist arm, das ist hip, das ist lahm, das ist sexy konstruiert, das ist extrem, das so passiert. Falls es euch interessiert, bin interessiert am Interesse. Alle Makertypen halten kurz mehr ihre Fresse. Ich will das hier nur noch diejenigen reden. Yeah, we are back right here um, talking. Um, we talk a lot about how we start to begin to music, to do music or to do political music, but it's not everything you do, you both. I know you're both really active in uh, doing networking, build up structures for other persons. And I don't know much about it, but you know, right, I heard from the Wallflower buoy. What's that? That's a good question. No. <laughs> um, okay. I think um, for me it's very important um, to learn to unlearn because um, I learned since I was a child um, that I have to be like, I don't know, not like I am. Um, 
but it's very hard and very difficult to learn to unlearn so i need people and i need a network and a space to learn to unlearn and growing with other people it, it needs more people and a bubble um like in this situation with us three people um it's more easy to to learn to unlearn so uh and in saarbrücken uh it's in the southwest of germany and it's a cool city and i like to to live there actually but um it's a very alternative city a catholic city too but um it's not so important um and mm, they there's no space for um queer feminism or activism there is a punk scene but no hip hop scene no politic hip hop scene that's important um yeah it started now <laughs> um yeah, yeah of me and and uh zinga i think too um and um so i started the net the wallflower boogie um it's a mini diy hip hop art festival um <laughs> huh? mm -hmm. um and I play there my hip hop stuff and uh Finna comes around <laughs> and will come around and um play her stuff and Lego uh, from Leipzig um make a DJ set. Yeah, but with Corona it's a little bit difficult to, to start it, so we make a um live stream. Uh and, and a lot of artists, uh, zine artists um, tattoo artists, photographic artists want to come around and show empowerment stuff. Um, and now we made it in a live stream session in November 2000, 2020. Um, and I think it's very important to learn to unlearn um, with new perspectives or with um, perspective I have before. So. Um, I I see other people and the work of other people and I can I can learn oh that's a new perspective I didn't know that before so I can be sensitive with this perspective or that they feel understand and I think both ways are important um for a network in Saarbrücken and for the people to be um s sensitive with the theme um because I think, like it was in my um, biography, a lot of people are politic, political, but they didn't know it. And um, when I, I, I win the political tool, maybe, um, I, I, it, was, it was like a key to another world. And it's so, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a home for me. Yeah, and I think it's good for other people to learn, oh, okay, other people are like me and I'm not alone, but it's it's important too to know, oh, okay, in this situation, my behavior wasn't very cool for this person maybe, so I learn new behaviors, new ways to, to be to other people. Yeah, I think that's it. So, Wallflower Boogie is a uh, queer feminist uh, festival with uh, a DIY festival. And this is uh, maybe one uh, really interesting point for us because uh, more and more uh, structures uh, get lost and uh, DIY isn't that big anymore. Um, or uh, other perspective, how we can come together as DIY persons, as political activists. Um, so when you say, okay, today's the day, I like Saarbrücken, it's... Uh, it's a quite alternative uh, city. I want to start right now a queer feminist DIY festival. When do you choose this moment? Is there was there some point to say, okay, this needed right now? Is there? Why did you start it? It was a really selfish moment because <laughs> uh, I I was on a um, safe abortion demonstration, and I always on on demonstrations I can as 
only on demonstrations. I can hear the music I like in in an open space. <laughs> when I when every every weekend ev the people say, "Hey, we can go to this party. There's a German hip hop party," and I'm there, and it's like. Oh wow! Oh, I want to go home and hear my stuff, or I can put uh, in ears <laughs> when we are on on parties. So my music is only on demonstrations, and on demonstrations, sometimes the people can make a little party, but most of the time it's 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 riot and not party time. Um, so I want to create a, a room to be free and free to make party and to dance and not to think we have uh, in the Brücken we have a queer party you can't be free there it's important how you look and how you are and you can't be just queer and um, I want to start um, to open a room a new room and uh, I talk about that with Lego and uh, we, we, we create the idea to to make a party and then it, it always grow <laughs> oh maybe with a concert yeah that's great oh maybe with artists yeah oh maybe with tattoo action mm -hmm. oh yeah because <laughs> in every space in the tattoo world in the scene world in the music world in, in photographic stuff always everywhere are queer people and political queer people and I want to 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 pick everything <laughs> and put it in one in one event because <laughs> I want to I want to visit this <laughs> event <laughs> and no one else do that so maybe I can do it <laughs> so you do really a selfish thing selfish thing <laughs> uh, really 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 shame on you because nobody <laughs> nobody uh, will love that and nobody will feel empowered by this <laughs> just need the money to 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 start it so <laughs> in this way I can make it <laughs> but how do you uh, make it because uh, this is also the, the question about um, not everybody can pay more or less or to come to the the festival but you said okay you don't have any money but how do you realize it um, I started the crowdfunding action and the people gave a lot of money uh, 600 euros I don't know is it a lot for me it was a lot <laughs> um, and I mm, the positive thing about Saarbrücken is um, everyone everybody knows each other <laughs> and I'm a social worker and I know a lot of um, important people with money in the system I uh, wrote a concept and because um, I also the positive thing about my network I have to to Finna and to Hamburg and to Berlin and to a lot of creative feminist people and as it started with Instagram Instagram is my network feminist bubble or it was that um, it was really important so I had a contact to 1,6 design and now she's one of my best friends and um, she made the flyer and I so I can show to uh, the woman represent <laughs> to the um, woman in the town hall in the woman with money <laughs> yeah, I have I have a flyer I have a concept uh, we need money it's very important to do that all in all it was it was not so difficult um, I think yeah thank you for this uh, explaining and all the uh, wallflower boogie and I hope it's not uh, only one in, in corona times maybe it's after corona there comes some more can I tell something <laughs> Uh, yeah, because uh, I think this is a good theme to talk about. Uh, where comes the money from and is money really important for DIY structure in the world of capitalism? This is a really big question for me um, because um, I think um, uh, it's a good it's a good point to, to go back to yesterday. Yesterday the demonstration was about who has the money, give it to the people they need it. That was the theme of the demonstration. And I think uh, we have to um, use this thinking that, that we take the money from, from the people they want to give us to us, give it to us <laughs> and, and use it for, for cool stuff. <laughs> I think this is a really good point to influence 
this capitalism shitty society <laughs> and change it. At, at this point, um, I'm really in it because um, I, th I don't think that every, everything needs money, but uh, we all need money to live. Not, not a, a video or a design uh, or art in, in a way uh, needs money, but we all need money to exist in this capitalism society. And, and I think it's a good point um, that I, I really always, I, yeah, I'm always at this point that, 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 that people ask me, um, how much do you cost <laughs> when I'm playing at the concert or something, or when I do something, when I make a beat, or when I, when I rock at something, or when I yeah, just uh, sing something or do something, <laughs> I don't know. I, it's always the question of um, what do you, but, but it's not the, the question of uh, how much money do you want, it's, and we have to go back to the question, what do you need? And this is the point we have to talk about because because we have to we have to take things, but give something back. What what others need, and it's an it's an helping. I help you, you help me. I help you, you help me. And there's a anarchist uh, scientist uh, Peter Kropotkin, I think, mm -hmm. and he wrote a book about um, about helping, and and. Uh, and that was a book that really um, was really impressive for me, uh, for my thinking, because I was like, yes, this is everywhere. Um, I'm helping you, you're helping me. And it's in the, uh, in the animal world and <laughs> everywhere w with the flowers. Um, it's in nature, it's, but it's also with people and, so and society. It's in helping each other. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I think, uh, yeah, and, and, and that I want to go um, back to the beginning to ask the question, uh, I want something, what do you need for that? And, and, and this is what I like about networking so much uh, because it's not about the money, um, it's about the... <laughs> uh, so you want to say it's about the appreciation? Yeah. This is what it's about. It's about <laughs> it's about love. It's about giving back and 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 help each other really. And and sometimes um, left structures are okay. We are just about helping each other, but everything without money. And but they but they they want to be blind sometimes that we need money in capitalism to exist. That I can. Uh, pay my rent for my flat, that I can eat something, that I can do something, that I can um, travel anywhere, that I can be free uh, or do what I want. I need money in this world and this is totally shitty, but uh, sometimes you can give people just this back what they need. If they need a flat, a room, maybe you can you can give that for free, maybe, or, or something. Th th there we go back to the helping each other. Yes, then yeah. we are in the utopia. We are in the, the utopia, uh, but course, yeah. we are in real life. We, have, we are existing in the capitalism, and there we have to go back. Okay, what do you need? Okay, we need money. This is shitty, but we need money to exist. So uh, this is the easiest way to appreciate what, what somebody is doing for you. It's a really big uh, question and a really yeah, big it's discussion. A really big question, but, but it was the point of where I go. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it was about okay, doing some um, left action or a left festival, and do we need uh, money for that? Do we have to pay each other, or what's the um, the ideals uh, of the person and also of the movement? Yeah. I think uh, something that I don't really understand is the. Um, the difference between uh, DIY and professional. Sometimes I don't really understand the difference because um, what I do professional, I did myself. <laughs> yes, of course. I don't think that DIY. It's a good question. What does yeah. uh, DIY meaning uh, mean? Yeah. Uh, I do a song. I did a song with Toko T and Lady Lacey and Transmitter. Um, it's about uh, DIY means do it together, um, but it's. Um, yeah, what is DIY? Yeah, mean, means DIY is 
yeah what 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 does it mean for you i think <laughs> i think uh to we are really going to the uh, next step in the in the interview but <laughs> now maybe we can uh, also for everybody can hear a little bit music um and maybe i want to hear a song from you meanwhile do you want to say something for your song or do we just play I think we play first the girl gang song and it's it's <coughs> growing it's not finished now in this situation this moment um is it diy or professional it's diy <laughs> 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 um yeah the beat is from passy it's a producer and the musician uh, from saarbrücken the only one i i met and it was uh not awkward and not a sexist way uh, in Saarbrücken <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, and and the only one who made it in a professional way uh, enough professional oh is way it professional or DIY no it's it DIY oh, okay I, I, I understand no it's, it's okay. DIY but um, sorry my yeah no um, play the song say? yeah play the song okay it's it's a girl gang song and it's for my uh, it's about my FFL IT yeah gang in in Saarbrücken and in Germany it's my empowerment girl gang song with my uh, good friend Mona and she's um singer in a punk band in Saarbrücken too so have fun <laughs> Meine Girls, meine Gang, zu Hause und Familie. Pass auf, was du sagst, meine Crew ist stabil. Mag, dass du von dem Club lassen, seh dich nicht rein. Meine Gang, zu Hause Synergien sind fein. Respektvoll befreit, zum Angriff bereit. Von Leggings bis Baggies, ey, alles ist fein. Sind der Feld TI, respektvoll und free. Wir haben das Wort Creed, das sind G. Wir hassen, wir chillen, wir lieben, wir leiden. Wir lassen's mit Willen, mehr Vielfalt statt Neid. Pass auf, was du sagst, meine Girls sind die Teizen. Du willst uns erklären, wir werden verneinen. Lazy und wütend, mal Lippenstift drauf. Mal heiß und mal laut Jogger an, Plotze raus. Ich bin Königin, ich bin slatt, ich bin Lady. Ich bin zart, ich bin stark, ich bin nicht, was du sagst. Neues Leben, kein Drücken, kein Schweigen, schon so viel gelitten, schon zu lange Zeit. Das Spray in die Fesseln des Patriarchats, seine eine rosa Blick hat zur Folge das. Riot ist Liebe, kein Mackern, kein Meiden, sind nicht länger still. Wir fronten, wir fighten, das Spray in die Fesseln des Patriarchats, ein bewertender Blick hat zur Folge das. Neues Leben, kein Drücken, kein Schweigen, schon so viel gelitten, schon zu lange Zeit. Das Spray in die Fesseln des Patriarchats, seine rosa Blick hat zur Folge das. Riot ist Liebe, kein Mackern, kein Meiden, sind nicht länger still. Wir fronten, wir fighten, das Spray in die Fesseln des Patriarchats, ein bewertender Blick hat zur Folge wir dich ausschalten, wir dich rausschmeißen, weil wir die ganze Scheiße lang schon nicht mehr aushalten. Werden deine Blicke schneiden, uns fein falten, zeichnen, rappen, skaten, fighten. Eigen Definition, nein, du liest uns nicht. Das hier ist viel mehr Rap Shit, das Feinste vom Feinsten, das ich gerne teile mit jedem und jeder, die down damit ist. Deine Aussagen über meine Brüste, über meine Augen, über meine Kleider, auf meine Haut, über meine Feelings, über meine Entscheidung, über meinen Bauch. Bla bla bla, bla bla bla, Alerta, Alerta, wir Feministen supporten einander, wir ändern die Regeln, wir nehmen uns raus, so viel wie uns zusteht. Du, hör mir zu. Reines Leben, kein Drücken, kein Schweigen, schon so viel gelitten, schon zu lange Zeit. Das Sprengen, die Fesseln des Patriarchats, seine rosa Blick hat zur Folge das. Reines Liebe, kein Mackern, kein Meiden, sind nicht länger still. Wir fronten, wir fighten, das Sprengen, die Fesseln des Patriarchats, ein bewertender Blick hat zur Folge das. Reines Leben, kein Drücken, kein Schweigen, schon so viel gelitten, schon zu lange Zeit. Das Sprengen, die Fesseln des Patriarchats, seine rosa Blick hat zur Folge das. Reines Liebe, kein Mackern, kein Meiden, sind nicht länger still. Wir fronten, wir fighten, das Sprengen, die Fesseln des Patriarchats, ein bewertender Blick der Blick hat hier keinen Platz. We are back. <laughs> We talk uh, uh, a little bit and I hope everybody can join it because we're getting deep. We are starting from who is here and here is uh, Finna and Mino Riot and uh, myself say yes. And we're talking about that we made a music, we made a song together and it was uh, really DIY um, because we were doing some thoughts. Okay, where can we do? Where can we release it? On which uh, release? On which album? Can we put it? And how professional we can do this? And we really talk a long about this and make uh, different de decisions. And 
Final we said, okay, let's do it DIY, let's meet on one weekend and we record on uh, record it here in Finna's uh, living room and we home studio home <laughs> studio <laughs> and do it all ourselves and the next day we uh, met uh, two friends uh, I just didn't know their, their names but do you know the whole names Sylvia Tonaden and Katja and Katja Nietzsche and they uh, filming us yesterday with a friend uh, from mine uh, greetings to Lotzi in his garden and we make a video our own and then we go to the demonstration right now maybe you no, because we already told about it. But what's DIY? Right now we are really in a philosophic discussion and don't know what is DIY for each other. And, and what is professional? And what's professional? And, <laughs> and what is art? <laughs> what is life? <laughs> <Okay. No. laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I said about the time. Um, we don't have to get this deep, but we. Uh, for me it's really interesting. Okay, what do you think it's uh, what's for you DIY? And also uh, because we talk about the individual political way, but what's the, the movements you are into? So maybe uh, I hear queer feminists. This is uh, one big topic. Is there something more? Are there some uh, critics about... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, uh, <laughs> do you have to do... Because um, if you talk about uh, getting money from the from the city, it also can be, okay, I take some money from the city and then I can do my own. Or I say, oh, fuck off the city. I want to burn it down. I don't take money. It's uh, both uh, possible ways. And so maybe what's going on? What's Is that what's why you talk yourself uh, or why you call yourself in Flammen? Because you want to burn <laughs> the cities? <laughs> I <laughs> Just a small question in my head. No, no answer. And at this point... Okay, back to topic. Um, Mino, right. What does uh, DIY mean for you? And um, because you said your festival was a, uh, is a DIY festival. And also interesting is, is there some um, organization, uh, a movement that you are into it or that you support? Um, which structures uh, do you are into it? And maybe you said some structures are not good. Which is what you're doing right now as uh, Mino Riot as a political uh, singer, a rapper. Um, okay, that's a little bit difficult. Uh, for me, the knowledge about uh, DIY started with DIY zines, with the Okapi Riot zine. And for me, DIY was a long time just, you can do it however you want to do it, and it's not important how good or not good it is in a professional way. And when you just um, make a zine with on every side is a, is one word and it, it's everything is, is possible because it's DIY and it's your message and it's your way to scream, shout out everything and to empower other people. And it's just the thought behind the scenes and the zines <laughs> um, and not the, um, the way the paper or the, the colors and the price of the colors and the quality think um, so that was a long time DIY for me and I started the own zine um, <laughs> I forgot the name <laughs> oh wow uh, I had a own zine and the theme was um, was a lot of interviews and to for me it's always important to learn together um, yeah and that was for me a long time DIY um, and now as a musician and uh, I want to make music for me but also for other people i i realized that so i said it before 10 minutes um, um it's what is professional enough for my own view or my own ear <laughs> um i don't know it's difficult it's a new view on the theme for me um so i i think i i have to to think more about it. I can say it actually. Um, but it's important for me to say that queer feminist rap and the subculture maybe, it's for me it's a subculture, um, our bubble, it's, it's very cool to see how different we are and everyone is important. Um, so we have on your Overscheiß Aktion, um, we Always Scheiß Action, we saw, we saw, a, a, we hear a lot of different um, rapper, rappers and producers and musicians, yeah, but everyone was important and everyone is important and everybody, everybody open, um, open doors and moments 
for other people to feel understand or to learn new perspective how i said it before um and for me that's an uh, important part of the why is the oversize action <laughs> oversize action my idea behind it was okay i made a song I'm, i made a beat and i want to share it and and give it for free uh, because i think there's much more creative space to do uh, many things and many perspectives in in one song and and that was the um the crazy idea um <laughs> when i went to audi lead and spoke <laughs> and said okay uh maybe i know i know many rappers uh female rappers queer feminist rappers anti-fascist rappers i know so m many people um and they are looking for um a beat, a free beat, just to write their message down. It was just a space to open a creative space um, to make it uh, as a free download, just the beat that everybody can 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 tell their own history and her own perspectives on this beat. Um, and uh, and I also gave the my vocals uh, for free download because I, I think, okay, maybe um, somebody want to hear the message from my song in other uh, creative way in music. Maybe maybe there's somebody who wants uh, uh, an oversize um, body positive techno song and or a rock song or a punk song or a um, pop song <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, yeah, I, I saw many creative spaces and I want to open it for everybody. And that was the Overshies Aktion. And there were so many beautiful people that made so much beautiful things in so different ways. And and then I, I and then it was take, took back to me from the label. Uh, yeah, now choose the best ten songs. And and this is something um, what's happening uh, really often in music business. And um, because I I open creative space, I I say here. Here is something for free. You can take it and sell it, um, but it has to be in. A, it has to sound like something. It has to look like something. <laughs> but it is everything. Is something, and and uh, sometimes capitalism is like okay. It has to be on this way and this way. And this is why I really um, like this project we three do together without a label, without the music business, without. Um, without the thinking that something has to make money. Yeah, and I really loved it. Stay soft. <laughs> <laughs> Staying soft. Now maybe we can listen to the song later, Staying Soft. But um, also the question to you, Finna. Um, you talk about the music business and you also talk, show, uh, talk about uh, DIY and uh, professional, but what's DIY for you? What does it mean? DIY is for me, um, yeah, DIY means do it yourself. So it is something that I do, uh, that I did by myself. <laughs> I really did it by myself. This is DIY for me. And professional is uh, when I put that, what I did by myself in a structure that is, um, that is totally, um, Totally, a system in a capitalism in a capitalistic way. Yeah, when I put something what I made by myself in a in a structure that is uh, in a system what is just uh, moving with money. This is professional for me and DIY. This is the this is maybe the difference that that I. But the different is difference is not so big. I think. Um, for me in in the way that i that i feel it because i diy everything is diy what i did uh, when i when i'm when i took my glue and make some glitter on it it's also diy and and but but when i put that in in a structure then it's professional yeah this is, this is the difference for me but i think it's not so big as somebody thinks yeah okay but um you as an uh act uh, with a label in the back with audio lead yes. um, so you have the possibility to make professional or um, capitalist music 
I don't want to to blame you. I just want to say it's about make money with music. Yeah, I have the I'm in the lucky position, and I have the opportunity to sell my music. Yeah. Yeah. And and to and to uh, to give it to the world, and everybody can appreciate with money in a very easy way. They don't have to talk. Uh, they don't have to think about it on Spotify or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to get that big because th then we have to talk a lot. No. Um, it's for me like um, you know both worlds about DIY and the professional way. Maybe I want yes. to say that. And that I want to be a bridge. I want to be a bridge between that uh, two words that mean uh, really much to me. I want to be a bridge. I don't want to be just a professional musician uh, that uh, that everybody uh, in a demonstration organization said, okay, uh, Finna um, uh, is too expensive. We can't ask her. I don't want that to happen. Never. And and I want to be a bridge. And, and this is really, as I said, back to the demonstration yesterday, um, everybody uh, give it <laughs> back what they can. And I want it in that way. And I want to be a bridge. Um, I want to be appreciated for my music, yes. But uh, not um, not always with money. Um, but I need money to live, and I'm really thankful when when people see that I need money to exist in this capitalistic world. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Papa, because um, I think it's quite good, and it's uh, about the point to to know um, that you both want to uh, let grow the AI and uh, making or being the bridge between. Uh, a system, a capital system for a professional way and a DIY structure. And everything is about music because we all three do music and I think now it's a good time to hear the third song. And maybe we start, uh, we hear your song, uh, Finna. Maybe you can talk something. Yes. This is a song I wrote uh, two weeks ago, I think, uh, uh, Wednesday at night because I was really, really sad about the world that nobody understands me. And everything is, and the system is so shitty, and <laughs> nobody wants to talk to me, and and uh, I have to do it. Uh, I, I have to do this uh, DIY without money, and I have to do this one professional. I have to do it this like that, and this like that, and um, and I was really, yeah, I was just broken in this night, and um, and I felt that music is helping me. Um, but but I don't want to sell um, every music I made. So I went back to step one, where I started when I was a kid, um, why I'm doing music. I want to uh, express myself. And uh, the song we now hear, um, it's called uh, Hurt Myself For You. Uh, but uh, the message is, I don't want to hurt myself for you. I, I, um, yeah, I have enough and I go away, I do my own thing um, out of this uh, system and I, and I don't want to um, give every music I made um, for a capitalism system. And I know this is just DIY, this is just fun, this is just for me and I don't have to sell everything what I made. And, uh, yeah, and I like that, that we now are having an interview in English. <laughs> And and I can um, yeah give my song that uh, some major gu gurus may maybe say oh this is a great song we wanted to make a, a, a hit but uh, um, but this is a song I really do for myself and and uh, and I can I can decide where I want it to be heard and I'm now uh, give it to you as a present for your interview this is just from my diary <laughs> close diary uh, for the DIY structure. Thank you for your trust. Every word I say, I feel like a fool. Cause it seems like a lie to you. But is that true? Or can I really? I hurt myself for you. I don't
We're back here and yeah, we talk a lot, but we also have some more music and Mino Riot. Um, uh, we already talked about the uh, Oversize action. Um, uh, Finna was started with, is, uh, with it, but uh, many people uh, do stuff and uh, work together and we're, we're really, really happy. So am I, I also did a song, but uh, we listen now to your song um, and maybe you can say something about uh, the song you do. and. What was your inspiration, and uh, what do you think that you uh, hear about? Okay, there's a beat from Finna, and you can use it, and uh, all about the action. What was your thinking? Okay, I'm always looking for beats uh, that I can use on Spotify or something else, and uh, so I was really happy for the option to to create a new song and to use the beat for everything I want to use it. So my first EP is. Uh, growing now really looking forward yeah and um, the next year my EP uh, comes out okay. um, and the song is on this IP the EP oh um, nice. and um, so I was really happy for this chance and this option um, and um, it was before the action starts before five months maybe Feb oh <laughs> the best no, month no, in English no. Yeah, February, okay. And this time I was um, in a hospital for mental health, can I say it in this way, yeah. Um, and and it, it comes together, so it was um, an option for me to, to, to grow things about this time. And um, the title is uh, Königin Lagerta, Queen Lagerta, I don't know. It's from the series uh, Vikings. <laughs> My favorite character in the series. Uh, it's a very, very attractive, cool, strong woman, and um, and I saw me in this situation like her maybe. Um, um, it's a historic person too. It's maybe it's interesting, and um, and I wrote about me and I wrote about my situation, um, my inner child, and uh, the struggles with me and my fears and my biography maybe too and um, it's I, I love to to make angry music and um, 
and to show my angry and my anxiety faces. Mm -hmm. um, and I think both of this are in this song. Yeah. Enjoy it. <laughs> Ohne Ach, ohne Krach, ohne Scham ins Gesicht, sie mögen traditionelle Sicht, hält nicht mehr als sie verspricht. Was ist stetige Gesicht? Kann man ja, kann man Tag vermag nie mehr als er versprach. Lernen zu verlernen, sich langsam vertragen und dann morgen für morgen die Decke anstarren, den Sinn hinterfragen, stillschweigend verharren, ist dann doch wieder wagen, zermürbende Fragen. Ihre sieben Sachen packen, auf die Utopie beharren. Gedanken, Konstrukte aus Sorgen und Fragen stechen in ihre Kehle, leuchten in grellen Farben, wenn wir für kältere Tage ein Haus für schwerere Jahre. Zart, rosa Feelings, Freiheit zu lieben, Synergien schaffen Liebe, Angst vor Liebe überwiegt. Nähe und Abstand, das macht sie erhaben. Abstand und Nähe, sie wird weiter wandern. Und schon wieder nicht genug und schon wieder nur ganz gut und schon wieder sinkt der Mut und schon wieder steckt die und schon wieder nicht genug und schon wieder nur ganz gut und schon wieder sinkt der Mut. Schmande Krone bei Nacht, müde lächeln den Tag, beschreitet sie ihren Weg. Schleppe wird wird von ihren Ängsten getragen, beschreitet sie ihren Weg. Schmande Krone bei Nacht, müde lächeln den Tag, beschreitet sie ihren Weg. Schleppe wird wird von ihren Ängsten getragen, beschreitet sie ihren Weg. Ohne Ach, ohne Krach, ohne Scham ins Gesicht, zermürbend rationale Sicht, hält nicht mehr als sie verspricht, was ist stetige Gesicht, kann man ja, kann man Tag vermag nie mehr als er versprach. Lernen zu verlernen, sich langsam vertragen und dann morgen für morgen die Decke anstarren, den Sinn hinterfragen, stillschweigend verharren, ist dann doch wieder wagen, zermürbende Fragen. Das innere Kind, das Leben, der Sinn, der Mond und die Nacht und die Kritikerin, der Dolch in den Händen, der Boden ist fremd, keine, die sie bewacht vor den Monstern und Ängsten. Die Königin schreit, die Königin flucht, hört ihr nicht, wie sie weint, hört ihr nicht, wie sie ruft, wie sie stillschweigend brüllt, die Hyänen verflucht, keine eilt ihr zu Hilfe, sie lässt es nicht zu. Und schon wieder nicht genug und schon wieder nur ganz gut und schon wieder sinkt der Mut und schon wieder steckt die Wut und schon wieder nicht genug und schon wieder nur ganz gut und schon wieder sinkt der Mut. Schmande Krone bei Nacht, müde lächelt den Tag, beschreitet sie ihren Weg. Schleppe wird wird von ihren Ängsten getragen, beschreitet sie ihren Weg. Schmande Krone bei Nacht, müde lächelt den Tag, beschreitet sie ihren Weg. Schleppe wird wird von ihren Ängsten getragen, beschreitet sie ihren Weg. Schmande Krone bei Nacht, müde lächelt den Tag, beschreitet sie ihren Weg. Schleppe wird wird von ihren Ängsten getragen, beschreitet sie ihren Weg. Schmande Krone bei Nacht, müde lächelt den Tag, beschreitet sie ihren Weg. Schleppe wird wird von ihren Ängsten getragen, beschreitet sie ihren Weg. We are back right now. Um, we have to be honest, we talk right now about this song a little bit in German and you don't hear it, but it's quite good. And I'm really sure if you want to hear more from us, from Finna, Mina White or myself, say yes, it's possible. And so maybe we have to share where we can find each other and where uh, all the listeners can find you. How is it possible to get in contact with you? Maybe there listens a person next to Zafrog and say, yeah, of course I want to help with the with the festival or yeah, I want to uh, book Mino Riot. How we can uh, come in contact with you? I think the easiest way is uh, with Instagram. I think that's, uh, yeah, my name is Mino Point Riot. Um, and I think Mino dot right? Yeah, M I M O dot R I O T. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On Insta. Yeah. And is there other possibility to get uh, in contact with you? Not everybody is uh, joined to uh, joined Instagram. Maybe uh, I have Facebook, but I didn't use it so often. Uh, my my old uh, artist name was Sonia, like my my real name, <laughs> but with uh, S O N G I A point. No, dot underline. underline. Um, you can find me there too. Um, yeah. That's so it. look to social media. Yeah. And I'm on SoundCloud. And I think on SoundCloud people can send messages too. Uh, yes. Yeah, and comment songs. <laughs> <laughs> and on SoundCloud uh, it's Mino.Ride too, I think. And watch out for February uh, 2021. 
Um, I'm really looking forward. But <laughs> on the other side, we have Finna here, and we talk about a uh, lot of stuff, but uh, I just want to share, Finna is doing many stuff for networking. There's uh, a feminist group in Hamburg called uh, Female Treasure. There is a uh, photo project, female rap project, and we make a website, Tour de Moor. This is a political network of artists uh, for against borders in Europe. Yeah. And uh, there are the three networks I'm um, working in, or yeah, that are founded, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> three right now, and I yeah. know there are some uh, more in, in, in ideas in uh in your brain because uh, I d we talk also about it so you're doing a lot of stuff uh, like this and uh, bringing people together um, like us today <laughs> also the song was like uh, um, but I, I can sometimes talk about friends are, are calling me just the networking queen yeah, <laughs> really the, networking the network queen, queen. <laughs> and, uh, sometimes it's or really misconnector is also <laughs> a name they call me <laughs> misconnector or network queen or net queen <laughs> yeah. but maybe to to make it a little bit more easy or easier for the misconnector because uh, you have to route everybody and have to get it uh, know what they want and is somebody maybe listen right now here and say okay yeah that sounds really good I want to help I want to support I want to be part of it and maybe you want to uh, got in contact with Finna and want to support or help or need it and just get in contact how can this person come in contact with you I think that uh, why it's so easy for me uh, to network and really connect with people is that I um, really connect in um, in many different ways. I, I connect personally on demonstration maybe, then I, they, I give my phone number because they don't have internet or something. Um, or um, I open the, sp the, the, the the channel to connect on social media. They can write me, I write back. <laughs> uh, and I open um, the connection uh, in a professional way um, with uh, a label and, and booking structure. And uh, there are many ways to, to be in contact with me. I'm, I'm not a person uh, that wants to be alone. I want to connect with everybody. <laughs> I, I really like and I, I really like to see many perspectives this is why i'm opening uh, so many ways to connect my phone number or my on telegram signal i don't know uh, instagram facebook or label way booking way i don't know i i'm i'm opening every door um where it is and this is why why it's so easy to to just connect with me and uh, now for the listeners uh, maybe you can give one or two possibilities how they contact you maybe your instagram or your email yeah the uh, easiest the phone way number is not so good right now here. <laughs> no i don't give my phone number because no? No, um, <laughs> maybe you can write me an sms before who you are and then maybe i go <laughs> no um no but the easiest way is um i think m my contacts are everywhere on social media but also you can google it and and uh, there are email address with contacts on the label side and everywhere is a contact everywhere okay so look for finna on your just google uh, me <laughs> on the way you want yeah. to look in the internet maybe not google maybe some other pr <laughs> <laughs> possibilities there also <laughs> and uh, then you can find uh, finna uh, on instagram this it's is finna luxus go on start page <laughs> <laughs> and make that <laughs> tip finna and then you can contact me http double point <laughs> no. okay look for finna and uh, maybe yeah. instagram is really easy finna luxus and then you can find it yeah great so um, I think it's a good time to, to find an end. Uh, yeah. If you really want to hear more from us, you can find us on the internet, you can listen to our music or get in contact with us. And just to finish everything, it's really like this. Uh, Finna was starting a beat. Finna showed it with uh, Mino Riot and also me say yes. And then uh, um, maybe one day or half, uh, one day and a half, we made a song. Uh, everybody at home in her or his... Uh, town and then we decide okay let's do it together uh, let's make a DIY uh, in Hamburg and now we are right here and this song is about softness it's about uh, staying soft and it's about um, maybe to have uh, borders uh, 
against borders to break something and be hard but be soft for everybody and be soft and sensitive for all the stuff but maybe you can uh, say more because right now the microphone is no, <laughs> changing I, I just i just thought we did every way we can do music we did a uh, recording way we did a video uh, we played live this is so crazy and this is in three days yeah it was a really uh, heavy uh, weekend and now also we make an interview so we're making the, the stuff oh and the photo shooting, and photo shooting. Yeah, it's crazy for me it was uh, the whole pa <laughs> the whole package this is I'm a star now dear we music <laughs> business right here Okay, so uh, now you uh, you can listen to the last song. But before we hear uh, uh, "Staying Soft," the yeah new song from uh, uh, Finna Minoride and "Say Yes," maybe last thoughts, love, uh, last thing you want to say. Is there something more, uh, Minoride? Do you want to say something? I think it's okay to to know that everybody is still growing and every day i got a new perspective every day i got a new thought and every day i um i grow more and um it's difficult to learn to unlearn and everyone everybody has other resource and another biography and um yeah i'm very thankful to to have the chance to learn to unlearn and to uh, be so soft and so sensitive and it's often so so hard and difficult and often i i'm so tired of that but also i'm very happy to to have um this sensitive feelings and i'm strong too yeah because it's very hard to be so sensitive and i want to stay soft because uh yeah i don't want to be like a lot of other people <laughs> ignorant people yeah yeah that's that's it for me thank you for these words do you want to say something at last, Finna, or...? Um, I want to say thank you for the opportunity um, that we could make this interview together in my living room. <laughs> it's really, really cool. Thank you um, for for listening. It's really, really cool. And I hope uh, that just someone is sitting there and listen to this interview and and um, and feels that everything is DIY, so do it yourself. Good sentence to the to the end. Staying soft, do it yourself, and be in flammen or more. <laughs> Here next time we are out. Staying soft. Bye bye. <laughs> and of course, thank you, Finna and Mino Wright. I didn't say it. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank say you yes. <laughs> Ich wachse nicht rein, wenn ich länger versuchen eines Tages zu sein. Zerte ist Stärke, ich bin gerne klein. Das innere Kind, das Leben, der Sinn, der Mond und die Nacht und die Kritikerin. Gefühl von liebend, Utopie, Dystopie, zart und sensibel, wütend und viel. Lass mich, ich bin weich, verletzlich und es reicht. Bis hier und nicht weiter, hier ist die Grenze jetzt erreicht. I'm only staying soft, nur damit du's weißt. Meine Schwäche wird zur Stärke, ich bin ich und alles reicht. Ich bin weich, verletzlich und es reicht Bis hier und nicht weiter, hier ist die Grenze jetzt erreicht I'm only staying soft, nur damit du's weißt Meine Schwäche wird zur Stärke, ich bin ich und jedes reicht